Statistical process control is a method utilized in manufacturing and process industries to monitor, control, and improve processes by employing statistical techniques. This video shows how to use statistical process control with Power BI. We start with the installation of SPC extension for Power BI. To do so please click on Get More Visuals button on Visualizations panel. Choose Get More Visuals option from the menu which opens Power BI Marketplace. As next go to the search function and type SPC. Here please look for SPC Visual from Next Gen Industries. Click on the visual and open the site with the description of the extension. Please click the Add button to include the visual to your library. Now the visual is appended to your visualizations panel. Now we can click on SPC Visual and add it to Power BI report. Please adapt the size of the visual to your needs. As next please drag the time measure to timestamp or index field. Choose a data measure, you would like to analyze and drag this to values field. The SPC visual includes three main parts. The graph. The info panel. And menu. From menu you can select the type of graph you want to see. Such as individual chart. Capability Histogram Probability Chart Moving Range Chart Distribution Estimation and Log All graphs are highly interactive. You can zoom and shift the graph along the axis. Please try it out. The visual offers rich options for customization of colors and styles. We start with some principles. As first I will show how to fix the chart type and to hide the menu. This might be necessary if you want to limit the interaction options. To do so please go to Format Panel, select the Appearance Group and Layout Subgroup. Here you can find the Show Menu Switch and Combo Box with the default chart types. As next I will show how to adapt the info panel. Info panel can display different statistical values, KPIs such as CPK value or SPC limit values. You can enable or hide the info panel as whole by switch the on off button. Within the info panel options you can choose between the different values you want to display.
As next I will show you the configuration of chart styles. Here you have different options to customize the colors and the appearance of lines and point markers. First, we start the option Show Last Endpoint, which allows you to define how many data points are displayed in the graph from the whole dataset. It is especially useful when you like to approximate the distribution model on a bigger data set while you want to limit the amount of displayed point to the last relevant. Now I will go through the style options such as Default background color Default point color Marker type Marker size The appearance of connection lines The axis font size You can also adapt the view range of Y axis to keep focus to relevant data area Next, we look to the configuration of histogram appearance. Here you can change between count and percentage representation. And define the style of the bars and lines. The appearance setup applies to all chart types. And even for relevant info fields. Now we look to options for configuration of distribution models. We switch to SBC settings group and distribution approximation subgroup. At first point we can specify the options for outlier filter. Outlier filter is applied to original data series to remove extreme values which might falsify the estimation of distribution model. You can choose between percentile based filter and manual constants.
As next you can select between different distribution models, which are considered within the automatic approximation process. Within the log window you can see the estimation parameter for each selected distribution model. It is possible to use these parameters to set up the distribution model manually. To do so, please choose Manual option from Distribution Estimation Combo Box and the Distribution Type. Now you can set the model parameters manually. As next we look at SPC rules options. The visual implements the eight SPC rules known as Western Electric Rule Set. You can switch the rules on and off deciding which of rules should be evaluated on your data set. Now we look to the configuration of limit setup. First the control limits. Here you can define how the limits are calculated for lower and upper sites separately. We choose as example the constant value option. Additionally, you can define the appearance of the control areas and markers.
The same can be done respectively also for specification limits. Finally, you can also configure the target line. As next we look to the configuration of CPK and limits warning or alarm function. The warnings and alarms are shown as background colors within the info panel. To configure the limits for warning and alarm trigger, we switch to appearance group and info panel subgroup. Here you can find the values for warning and alarm limits. The colors for the warning and alarm are corresponding with the setup made in limits section.